everyone very warm welcome to all of you to my channel senses yes i was having my cup of tea as i can feel the sense of that chilliness in the wind the weather is changing the winter is coming so today we are going to make something related to the weather lovely tasty delicious absolutely mouth watering piri piri paneer pakora sandwiches yes you're going to make your own peri peri masala at home you can store it as long as you want it and you can make anything out of it so without any delay let's make the amazing peri peri paneer pakora sandwiches to make the peri peri mix you'll need these ingredients you'll need one teaspoon of your powdered sugar you'll need some black salt you'll need some red chili powder you'll need some cinnamon powder or dalchini powder easily available in the market you'll also need some ginger powder and you can use either kasuri methi crushed between your palms or oregano if you have it so let's make a piri piri masala the piri piri masala is ready right here grind it really fine and it's ready to be used and you can store it for up to 1 to 2 weeks the rest of the ingredients we'll need are you'll need some fresh lime juice or lemon juice you'll need some cumin seeds you'll need some mint leaves or coriander leaves i've used both of them you'll need some fresh ginger garlic paste and you need some oil and these are boiled or steamed mashed potatoes ready for our filling between the sandwiches to get our batter ready to dip our sandwiches in we'll need some basin which is also called as ground flour in english you need uh, just a pinch of turmeric pinch of red chili some salt and some carom seeds which is also called as ajwain seeds mix it really well not to thick not to thin consistency but just about medium and you if you want your pakoras to uh, come out really crispy uh you can add a bit of baking soda but i prefer adding just a 1 teaspoon or tablespoon of rice flour so when they when you fry them and take them out they are really crispy so that's my special tip let's begin making our really yummy peri peri pakoras okay the oil is hot i'm going to put my cumin seeds and ginger garlic in there saute it for some time okay next we add in our boiled and mashed potatoes also your peri peri mix lemon juice and your chopped ginger garlic mint and coriander give it a good stir You can always use a masher to mix it really well. Give it a good stir for about two to three minutes and check for seasoning in between. Okay, so the peri peri potato or alu mixture is ready for the stuffing in between the sandwiches. Make sure you do not add too much salt in this. because you have already added a little bit of salt in your batter also which we are going to dip it into so this is ready this is my leftover peri peri masala ready you can store it in a nice airtight container for up to 2 to 3 weeks and you can use it your homemade peri peri masala is there ready <laughs> okay at this stage when you are ready to make your batter you can start your uh, you can put your oil on the medium heat while this is ready your oil will be ready as well i'm going to put some warm water it can be cold or lukewarm depending um and don't put too much water just put slowly as you see now So the peri peri mixture is ready. I've got the paneer or cottage cheese cut into slices like these, which is like more like a sandwich. So you can stuff it in between two. And we got our batter just now ready, which is this. Let's start making pakoras. Okay, all our ingredients are ready. Let's making the sandwiches.
pans. I'm gonna dip each of them in the batter that we made. There we go. Can't wait to eat them with lovely green chutney. There we are. For the green chutney, you'll need some fresh coriander leaves, nicely washed. I always tend to take these stems as well, and there's a lot of nutrition in there. Take one chili, depending how you like your spicy chutneys, some ginger, some garlic, and some yogurt. I always add a bit of yogurt and some fresh lime juice and let's begin making our chutney there we are delicious chutney is ready you can add a little bit of chunky chat powder or amchur powder and salt according to taste let's begin eating 